Okay, here's the upgrade conversion from this old broken, crappy 24 12 volt expensive original military alternator which stopped working. This the regulator doesn't have the lights on it. Um, there's the original pulley. By the way, let's take a quick measure on that pulley across it so we can see the difference. That measures four inches in diameter across the outside. It'd be less the bottom of the V is right there. So it's uh, just over four inch. And here's the replacement I chose, which is a Bosch alternator used for school buses. I turned out, I didn't even know that when I bought it. I just picked one that seemed like the right one. There's the Bosch alternator box. And they call it a school bus alternator. SB right there, school bus. AL9963SB. 200 amps. And there it is mounted. And uh, I forgot the tape. Let's go get the tape. Well, that's some really good camera work right there, isn't it? Here we go. So, one of the features I like about this is uh, the alternator was engineered, as I recall, to uh, have high output at low RPM. It's got an interesting curve on it for the output. Um, but what, also, what I also liked is I was able to use the original mounts here without doing any welding or bending of metal. So first of all, because of the pulley that I got for this, and you buy it without a pulley, uh, it's smaller, it's going to go faster at an idle. So that's about a three inch pulley. So that's a three to a four. So that's what ratio is that. Um, oh boy. From a three to a four, it's a little uh, more than 25%, I think, uh, speed um, running that. I'd have to do the math on it. So basically, uh, up here, if you can see, I used the original mounting tab in there. There you go. So this piece here is the piece that was holding up the military alternator. That did not change. I had to drill it out, and that is a, uh, a 3 8 um, grade 5 bolt. If you look at the head on that thing, it's a grade 5. That's a strong bolt. You'd be surprised how much that'll hold. And then <clears throat> I just put a bunch of washers in there to make it go uh, in the right spot. And the distance here is almost exactly an inch right there of washers. It's a little under. It doesn't matter because you just have to get it close because those belts can wheel a little bit, but I got it pretty straight. Just about an inch full of washers. I put some in front of it and back and because um, that's the bolt I happen to have that size. You could use a different size bolt on length or you could use a bigger one in diameter and drill it out just a little bit, but that's a 3 8 grade 5 bolt. It's pretty damn strong. So that takes care of that side of it right there. Over here, this is the original military bracket, and uh, so this is how long, not that it matters, but about six inches from there to there. Doesn't really matter. I'm using, um, is that the same bolt that came out? It is. That's the original bolt that was in the military alternator. I repurposed it, put a washer there, I used a piece of... Uh, Two inch angle iron right here for vertical. You can see that there by about, I don't know if that's three sixteenths or uh, I don't think that's a quarter. What is that? It doesn't really matter, but so it's three sixteenths um, thick by two inches. And here's the size I cut that. It's seven and a half inches total length and on center. It's six inches for these uh, mounting holds here. Um, again, that doesn't have to be exact, but when you, when you, if you're gonna make your own length, this idler here should be set so that it's minimal um, tension on it, uh, so that you have room to tension it after you put the, uh, the upright in. And all I did was, uh, again, I used a bunch of flat washes here, and, and that's an inch also. So that makes sense, doesn't it, that the, both sides would come forward an inch, and it did. This here is, again, that looks like about a, 
I think that's a 7 16 bolt. I, I think that's bigger than the 3 8 but uh, and again, it's, it should be grade 5, but no, that's a grade, yeah, that's a grade 5, the other one's a grade 8. But uh, both that size and grade 5, I mean, I don't remember the specs for those bolts, but a quarter 20 grade 5 is like 500 pounds. And uh, tinsel strength on this bolt, I'm guessing, is a couple thousand pounds. Uh, all I know is um, this thing here, and I'm, this does not move at all and as solid as it can be. I eventually can have a piece that can come here. I can go up. Well, I'd probably weld one here. Here, oh, just a um, piece over the, you know, the you know, I step it in. It'd be a Z, up, over, and then upright. Something like that. Or um, there's a lot of different possibilities I could do here. You could uh, drill a piece down here and have something come this way. That'd probably be better in terms of uh, making it stiff. But the honest thing, truth is, this is so stiff right now, it really doesn't need anything more. I know it's only two bolts holding an alternator, but there's not a whole lot of force there. And these bolts are really socked down. I don't use a torque wrench. I just go until they stop. And a uh, bolt this size, you're not going to break um, unless you had monster arms, uh, break one of those things. And you could put both of these grade eight and just sock them down. This is the ground strap that was in there, I guess. I put that back. As far as the wiring goes, it comes with a few options back here. So one's a big lug, one's a little one. If you take the big one and you use the original 12 volt output cable down, it goes through the diodes to the battery. That's all you need. There's no other wires on here. Normally you'd have one for like an exciter um, for the field. This doesn't require it. It's done internally. Uh, the the 24 volt feed that comes I would normally have right now it's just taped off of here, uh, taped off as well as the old regulator wires. I'll pull these back and make them nice later. But right now this is all working. And then uh, we'll go down and show you the battery box. Uh, what goes on over there to make the 24 volts. Let me see if I can pause this. All right, so this is the battery box. What's going on over here is I have two switches already in line. This switch here, back there, those are nice heavy duty ones. That separates the batteries from the truck on the 12 volt side. And that's so, um, it, it's kind of like an anti-theft thing. People don't know it's there. Now you do, I guess. Um, and uh, it keeps it from uh, any kind of parasitics drawing down the batteries while it's parked. This one here, I have a battery bank in the back for an inverter. And it, this ties the front to the rear battery so I can charge the uh, inverter batteries in the back while I'm running. But I'm going to have a third switch over here somewhere that's going to control this. Uh, although that's this is going to change, and I'll tell you why. This is a... 12 to 24 volt step up converter the problem is it makes 24 volts and that's not charging voltage for a 24 volt battery it should be 27 and I don't believe this is adjustable at least I didn't see anything to adjust it so um, I really need to change this to a 12 to 27 volt there's a couple of ways to do that um, but this is eventually going to come out However, you could use this because 24 volts will maintain a 24 volt battery. Um, and that's what I'm going to do it for until I can get a, a new uh, uh, inverter, converter. So the ground just goes to this one here. It goes ground 12, 24. So this ground here is going to go to the ground here. The input is going to go to this one here. And then the output goes to one way back there. And that will, um, when this is in the circuit, We'll take this 24 volts, 12 volts here, convert it to 24 and charge the back too. Now the interesting thing about this build is the truck is split voltage, but in terms of where the power goes, the uh, 24 uh, volts only is used for the starter from what I can tell. Maybe a couple other small things. Most of the load is going to be 12 volts. The alternator is putting out 12 volts at uh, 200 amps. I'm peeling off 50 amps to run that charger if it needs it.
but most of the time, running headlights, running everything else in here, is coming right off that alternator. And the only thing the 24 volt's doing is just charging up those batteries to start it. So it's kind of a, a good split off the alternator. You could go it the other way. You could have a 24 volt alternator, you step down. But that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I was gonna do it that way, I'm glad I didn't. So uh, that's it, it, it does work. And uh, happy trails, troopers.